Good morning, everybody. Sorry about that. I forgot to put the mic on. Hope everybody had a good weekend. How we doing? Did everybody have a good weekend? Oh, excuse me. A couple of things to show you real quick before we get on to today's block, which is really, really simple. But there's a couple of things on, uh, I want to show you and a couple of things about this week's block that you can avoid the pitfalls that I did. Um, first thing, isn't this pretty? This is from our um, embroidery, custom embroidery, Amelia Scott's new book. So we're making this table runner and we're doing all different embroidery designs. So far we've made the actual piece, the table runner itself, which is very simple, just a little bit different than what you might normally do because we piece it on an angle. And we've already filled in all of the blocks and the triangles in the center with embroidery designs. So this week, or I should say next week, we're gonna be working on, or this should, actually, I think it's this week, we're gonna be uh, Saturday or next Friday, either one. Uh, we're gonna be working on the borders and then it'll be done. This is a really fun class. This is something that I've been doing for years and Emily Scott finally came up with a um, book and a pattern for it. So it's pretty cool, at least I think so. Now, row by row, starts Friday. I got donuts ordered and we're working on um, the kids' kits now. We've already got most of my, almost all of my kits are done uh, with the exception of some of the kids' kits that are partially done. But I was wanted to show you what we've got going on for the kids. Um, So we have Row by Row Juniors. And it's gonna create, if they collect all of the rows, you're gonna be able to put this, they're gonna be able to put this quilt together. Sorry about that. Uh, this great quilt together. So. The Yum and the Stars at the Bottom is one kit. The Two Outside Monsters is another kit. And the Octopus in the center is the final kit. So we're gonna have three kits going on. And the fun thing that I'm gonna show you today is the Yum and the Stars. Because the kids, other than that, all of these kits will be pre-cut and with designated fabrics. But these two, they get to pick what they want. Um, the, there's two white backgrounds that were shoot that I chose. One is white on white stars, and the other one is white on white alphabets, which I think is going to be perfect for this kit. And what they el what else they get to pick is stars. Their choice is stars, and there's a lot of them, and I'm adding even more to them. And they get to pick their choice of alphabet fabric. These are all pre-cut and fused for them. Um, we've got all kinds of fun, fun, fun alphabets. We have, uh, let's see, Mario, stars. We have princesses and minions, lots and lots of minions, which I think uh, are fun. And we've got some solidish tone on tones and some color swirls. And we've got, let's see, superheroes, because we don't want to leave the boys out. And ladybugs and more minions. That's what I've got so far, but I do have a bunch more that I'm cutting. So there's going to be a lot of fun with this. And as you can see, I got a lot already cut. Okay. That's it for that. These stars are so much fun. All right, on to today's block. Now, today's block is not hard by any stretch of the imagination. The hardest part is going to be making sure you pick the right side. Again, this is what we're doing. This is Stitch Happens. 
The block we're working on is this big centerpiece here, and it is cut um, not square. <laughs> so, as a result, you gotta make sure you pick the right side to put your blocks on, because if not, you're gonna be unstitching it and restitching it. Ask me how I know. Yep, I did it wrong the first time. So, I'm not gonna tell you um, exactly what to do other than I mean what side for sizes specifically because it's not fair to the designer you really need the pattern but just know the smaller size because this is the longer size this is the shorter size is the size that you the side you're going to put your blocks on and we're doing the yellow in the first corner and the teal in the second corner all you're gonna do is right sides together, draw a line on the back from diagonal corner to diagonal corner on both of them. So just a thread length on that side of the line, so towards the corner. You're gonna be sewing just a thread width on this side of the line. That's it. So let's get to it real quick. Is everybody as excited about row by row as I am? If you didn't, if you're not on Facebook, um, you don't know, but this weekend I did, we did the window for summer and we've got all kinds of fun stuff in there. Flamingos and um, turtles, seahorses and shells and all kinds of fun stuff. And I think I'm gonna put a shuttle in there in honor of row by row for my row. And I do wanna make sure everybody knows that July 4th, I will be closed for the holiday. Um, we will reopen on Thursday. I mean, on Friday, I'm sorry, as usual. Uh, but we will be closed on Thursday. And we'll be open our normal hours on Saturday, too. I mean, on uh, Wednesday, too. Uh. I do recommend Best Press. The only thing that you're going to need for this row, this block, is just the same thing we've been doing. Small ruler, your um, scissors. You can cut it with a rotary cutter, but I didn't think it was necessary. And a marking pen. I like friction for my marking pens. I think it works really, really well. And I still recommend Best Press just about throughout the entire quilt because it really will help you with small piecing. So all we're doing is setting the seam, iron the corner over, There you go. Once you know it's all set, as far as folding nicely, then you can cut the bulk. Told you this one was gonna be fast and easy this week. There we go. I might press this again just because sometimes when you cut, and I didn't, my, uh, I would be using best press and I will do use the best press, but it kind of fell. So I don't want to interrupt the video to go pick it up. Um, sometimes when you go to cut your excess off, it needs a little bit more pressing again. There we go. Whoop. And that's it. That's going to be this piece right here. Um, today at one o'clock, for those of you who are doing the retro gaming quilt, um, that starts at Quilt Tony's uh, Twitch site. If you don't have a Twitch account, 
it's a streaming a gamers streaming uh, video site if you don't have it don't freak out because it will be posted to her YouTube tomorrow um, I posted on Facebook a bunch of links so that you can download the pattern and her YouTube channel uh, when you do download the pattern each week you will need to use Kathy's studio code uh, in order to make sure that you get it free if not it will cost you three dollars um, if anybody has any questions or problems you're more than welcome to come in on Wednesday and I will help you with it any any questions you have as far as this quilt each week not a problem that's all I have for you today unless you have something else um, anybody out there got any questions or comments give me a, a heads up let me know how you're liking this quilt so far um, I'm really looking forward to us doing ruler work with it when we're done there'll be a couple of weeks in between with no video just to give me time to figure out exactly what I want to do and then we'll start up with ruler work that's all I have for you today everybody have a great day and you know where I am I'll be here all day tomorrow and the rest of the week uh, all week so if you need me come on down Bye, everybody.